All right. Hey, y'all. So uh, today I am going to show y'all real quick because I am working on the requilting quilt uh, saga. And I don't think I ever showed y'all how I do my pinwheels. So I'm going to show you how I do my pinwheels. Um, okay, let me put this daggone phone on my mm, tripod. Okay, and then let me switch around. Okay, and I'm just going to put it like that. So that way you can see me sewing and if I'm ironing or if I got to show you something. All right, so here is the pinwheel that we're going to be doing. Okay, and it's super easy. So the first thing y'all want to do, if y'all have charm packs, charm packs are five inch, uh, five inch squares. Go ahead and get those. If you don't, um, I always cut mine out from the bolt. So I just start out with five inch strip um, of the width of the fabric. And, and if I need more, obviously I'll cut another strip. Uh, I try my best to use, um, or try my best to uh, don't waste so much material. And then this, of course, is from a fat quarter. And same thing, um, I cut five inch strips and then and then uh, subcut it to five inch squares. So, but anywho, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me see. Okay, so I'll just put these right here for now. What I always do, so that way I won't get confused, um, the, the solid materials, like you can't really tell which is like the good side and the bad side. So um, as soon as I cut them off of the bolt, like I make them all look straight. So this is so this is the the top of of the material, and of course this the the printed ones. You know, obviously you're gonna see that this is more faded. So that's the back, of course. So what I always do is I just turn it upside down. This one upside down, and I'll just slide this over. All right, now I'm gonna bring that down, and then slide this over one and one, and then bam good guys are facing each other and I'm gonna bring that down and with my pinwheels all I do literally is a quarter inch all the way around so, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that out quarter inch and and I'll show you what I mean all the way around uh, I know there are some people that probably already knows what I'm talking about but then there's also those that doesn't know so we're gonna sail down one side and if you need help, you can put your needle down and then sail down another quarter inch. Like I said, this is super easy, super easy pinwheels. Quarter inch, needle down, sail down through the third side. Quarter inch, sail down. Or, of course, twist it. Turn it. Needle down. Quarter inch. And then just follow through. So, now, I don't know if you can tell. Hold on, let me. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, there we go. So, there it is. Quarter, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. All the way around. So, some of y'all might be like, oh, my God. What are you doing? You just did the whole thing. Okay. Well, here comes the fun part. Or what I call the magic the magic part okay I'm gonna move this over here sorry if I'm making y'all throw up I'm so sorry I'll throw up with y'all later oh, oh my goodness okay so I already did another one that's quarter inch all the way around like I said the super easy pinwheels uh, for people that's not too familiar uh, all I'm doing is doing a quick steam press uh, to relax the threads um, if you're asking well why do you got to relax them uh, it's easier to cut and also you want it flat okay so I just got the, both of these flat now we're gonna go to the cutting board oh my goodness I promise I'll throw up with y'all later I'm sorry okay alright all right, let me bring my little lamp over here because unfortunately I don't have good lighting but that's okay alright I'm gonna scoot this over it might look a little funky with y'all Okay, so if you're not used of cutting uh, pinwheels or cutting, you know, 
a, a full square, do it one by one, okay? And honestly, I don't even use the, the lines on here because um, not everybody's sewing is gonna be quarter inch. Like see right here, and obviously you're probably not gonna be able to see it because I'm crazy like that. But right here, like that's like a scant quarter inch and then over here is a good quarter inch. So I don't even mess with these lines. All I'm gonna do is lay that down, put this, put the edge onto the V right there, hold that down, put the edge onto this V over here, catty corner, hold down the your chingoletta, I can't even think of my words right now, uh, your ruler, and then cut it with your rotary cutter, just like that, bam. Do not move it, move your ruler only. Same thing, the V. Start over here, bring this over, bring it to the other V. Line it up, bam. Hold it down, get your rotary cutter, bam, V. Now, see, bam, there's that. And then of course, I need to change my blade, which if some of y'all has followed me, I hate changing my blades, but don't do what I do. Do what I say, change your blades. All right, here we go. Now let's come on over here. I'll throw up with y'all later. Ugh, because I'm moving too much. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, now press it down. So since the blue is the dark side for me, this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pressing to the dark side to the dark side all right so same thing relax your your threads open this up there's that bam open it up see so now now the the seam is on the dark side can you see oh yes good awesome there's that open this bad boy up Just press it down bam same thing, open it up, dark side up, press it down, bam, and same thing, and I'll just do, I'll just do one, uh, one square, one pinwheel, so that way it'll be a whole lot easier. All right, we're halfway there, or right, I guess you could say more than halfway. All right, let's come on over here, it's trucking over here, all right. Oh my goodness, these allergies are like really getting to me. And I'm trying my best to stay sane, stay calm, because my kids are making me go crazy. They're on fall break, and they have to be with me for two weeks. Sometimes I wish that we were, uh, my kids were at Hogwarts, where they could stay there all year. <laughs> Alright, so, pinwheel. Now, I know a lot of people get these mixed up um, when they do in pinwheels, but pretty much all it is, is you're want, you want your darks to come to the middle hold on hold on see because i already been i'm already messing up i'm angly challenged unfortunately bam all right so there's that but just in case if you don't you know set them down the correct way what i always do is i just get these two turn it around and go like that so just just put the dark with the light obviously dark with the light Oh, you're not even seeing it. God dang it. I'd be a monkey's uncle. Sorry. Okay. Dark with the light. Dark dark with the light. Okay? And make sure that they're that the line is going the same way. And then you want to nest them together. Nesting is when you have both of the seams butt to butt. Right there. And then these, they call these dog ears. And if you want to say what kind of dog, I would say a Siberian Husky ears bam I don't know I don't know why they call them dog ears but I always think of it as Siberian Husky dog ears all right quarter inch and if you're not too familiar with quarter inch on this just to give you a heads up right here the the um, uh, V right here the big fat V right here that's the quarter from here to there so just kind of give you a heads up but I always just line it up from uh, this from this side and then just sail on down, all the way down. And then same thing, 
you got it like that instead of just trying to figure out which way it goes just do this like that bam that's it oh you little dumbass I'm the dumbass sorry guys okay let me start all over just do that bam don't even have to worry about anything else all right so there it is there's my dog ears see how I messed up on this on this one um, when I was talking about quarter inch and it was a scant there it is bam so now my husky has like a short I don't know short ear oh well we'll make it work nest it bring it in where's my bad boy there it is sail on through bam cut that bad boy out oops cut this bad boy out Okay, man, I hope this comes out good. Y'all let me know because there we go. Because I'm retarded, that's why. All right, like I said, I wanted to do this because I don't even know if I've ever, sh ever showed y'all how I do my pinwheels. All right, so now once you open them up, open the seam to the dark, to the dark side. So that way. When you sew it all together, all the seams are gonna go one way, you know? So, and I don't know why this one went that way, went the other way, I don't know. I'm going crazy, am I going crazy? I think I am. Did I take my meds? I don't even know. All right, same thing, dark side. All right, there it is. We're almost done, see? Almost done, look at that, bam. Now what I do is I go ahead and cut these off real quick so that way it'll be less bulk so come on dude come on dude help me for my kids help me oh my goodness okay there we go all right and the reason why like i said the reason why i cut those dog ears off is because this is in the middle these you don't have to worry about those dog ears don't worry about those here we go. Look at that. We're almost done. Almost done. And oh yeah, and also less bulk. So let's go ahead and put these two together. You see how now this one's going one way. This seam's going the other way. Nest them two together. If you need to pop a pin, pop a pin. I don't because I just don't. Remember, don't do what I do. Do what I say. Alright, I got too many bad habits. Alright, there we go. Got that. And the same thing, quarter inch, sell on through. Okay, and readjust, there we go. Alright, let's put the two ends together. Bring that in. Take your time if you have to. Only do as fast or as slow as you're comfortable with. And then finally, magic. Bam! Look at that. Oh, I fucked up right here, though. But that's all right, because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix that up. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to scan it. Scant, when I, when I say scant, that means like, just like a hairline. So, I'll scan it about right here. Come in a little bit. Scant, 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 scant sell it back in the line and then this is all I did like all I did was just kind of come out and then scan out and then come back in and that's all I did bam look at that pointer and more whole lot better bam this one's jacked up but that's all right nobody ain't gonna look at it and that's it and then just iron it down let's iron it down that's it the end the end that's how you do a daggone pinwheel so let me turn my daggone uh, thing around all right so there you go that's how I do my pinwheels quick easy in and out bam um, so I hope y'all like and uh, don't forget to like subscribe all that other good stuff what all the other youtubers says and I will see y'all in the next Peace. Trade.